Hello everyone. In the series of uh, lectures about uh, different methods of protein estimation, today's lecture we talk about uh, we will talk about UV based protein estimation method. So, the electromagnetic spectrum in the electromagnetic spectrum UV lies from 100 to 400 nanometer range from 100 to 200 is called vacuum UV from uh, 200 nanometer to 280 nanometer is called uh, short UV short wave UV UVC from 280 to 315 nanometer is a middle wave UV also called UVB from 315 to 400 nanometer range is a long wave UV is UVA. Proteins absorb UV at 280 nanometer uh, wavelength and that is because of uh, presence of uh, uh, basically uh, aromatic amino acids in the protein and in the aromatic also tyrosine and tryptophan they are ma major absorber of uh, 280 nanometer radiation along with aromatic cysteine also absorb to lesser extent at 280 nanometer wavelength. So, this is based on uh, presence of aromatic amino acid in a protein and because the number of aromatic amino acid in proteins vary from one protein to another. That is why it gives very high variability. So, it is not a very accurate method to calculate protein concentration in solution. The sensitivity is 0 0.1 to 100 microgram per ml and advantage of this method is that a very small sample volume is required even a uh, as small as a nanoliter or a microliter drop can give you estimation of protein concentration using this method. It is very rapid you quickly take one microliter sample put on a machine called spectrophotometer and uh, it can quickly give the absorbance and calculate concentration of the protein. It is very rapid it is low cost you do not require anything if you have a spectrophotometer available. Uh, no other reagent is required, it is very simple and uh, the only problem is with this is the presence of detergent or denaturing agent in the protein sample. If detergent or denaturing agent are present they also may absorb at the same wavelength that is why the estimation of concentration is not very accurate. But nevertheless it is a very common method, very quick method to have idea about protein concentration in laboratories. So, because from Beers and Lambert's law which we have discussed in earlier lecture, earlier video uh, as per this law absorbance of a sample is directly dependent on concentration of that sample. So, in this case of protein if extinction coefficient is known we can directly apply Beers and Lambert's formula which is absorbance at 280 nanometer for a protein is equal to E280 which is extinction coefficient or molar extinction coefficient of the protein into concentration of the protein in molarity into L. L is path length in centimeter which is also width of the Q8 uh, when absorbance is taken. So, from this formula if extinction uh, molar extinction coefficient of a protein at 280 nanometer is available concentration can be calculated. So, concentration is equal to absorbance at 280 nanometer you divide that with the extinction the value of extinction coefficient of the protein into path length which is generally 1 centimeter in case of most of the spectrophotometer. So, from here concentration can be calculated just by taking absorbance of the sample, but this is the case when extinction coefficient of protein is known. Then if uh, amino acid composition is known extinction coefficient is not available for a protein, but we know the number of amino acid present in the protein that also can be used to calculate molar extinction coefficient of the protein because the molar absorption coefficient of a protein is related to its tryptophan, tyrosine and cysteine amino acid composition. So, at 20 nanometer and this value the value of molar extinction coefficient of the protein is approximated by the weighed sum of the 280 nanometer molar absorption coefficient of these three amino acids. So, because the molar absorption coefficient of tryptophan, tyrosine and cysteine are known and if we know number of these amino acid in a protein the molar absorption coefficient of that protein can be calculated using this formula. So, E m is equal to number of tryptophan 
into 5500. 5500 here is molar extinction coefficient of tryptophan plus number of tyrosine in the protein multiplied by 1490. 1490 is molar absorption coefficient of uh, tyrosine Y tyrosine amino acid plus number of cysteine in the protein multiplied by 125. So 125 is molar absorption coefficient of cysteine amino acid. So if you have number of uh, these tyrosine, tryptophan and cysteine amino acid known in a protein, molar extinction coefficient can be calculated and that can be used to calculate uh, concentration of the protein using this method. Moreover, if uh, uh, a molar extinction coefficient is also not known and amino acid composition of the protein is also not available. In that case, that case also protein concentration can be calculated and that is done by a formula called Warburg-Christian formula which is based on absorbance of that protein at 280 and 260 nanometer. This is generally done uh, when a protein is contaminated in some other like DNA nucleic acid. So in that case protein concentration can be calculated. Uh, con uh, concentration of protein in mg per ml is equal to 1.52 into absorbance at 280 nanometer and uh, minus 0 0.75 into absorbance at 260 nanometer. In this case when there is a contamination of nucleic acid in the protein so absorbance at 280 and 260 both are taken for that protein sample and this formula can be applied to calculate concentration of the protein using UV absorption method. So now let's take a numerical question. We have a protein of uh, 10 kilodalton molecule weight and this protein contains 5 tryptophan, 2 tyrosine and 2 cysteine amino acids. And 1 ml of this protein solution it, it gives absorbance at 280 nanometer which is equal to 0 0.921. The length of the cuvet or width sorry width of the cuvet the path length is 1 centimeter and we need to calculate concentration of the protein sample in gram per ml. So we can simply use but uh, before using Beers and Lambert's law we need to calculate x molar extinction coefficient of the protein and uh, that is done by using uh, the formula based on uh, number of uh, amino acids. So for example, there are 5 amino acids in the protein. So 5 multiply by 5500 zero, zero, plus 2 because there are 2 tyrosines. So 2 multiplied by 1490. 1490 is a molar absorption coefficient of tyrosine plus because there are 2 cysteines. So 2 multiply by 125. So 125 is molar extinction coefficient of cysteine. So in that way, if you if you calculate it, the molar absorption coefficient of the protein would come as 30,730. So this is molar absorption coefficient of the protein. Now absorbance is given. Absorbance is given at 0 0.921. So from Beers and Lambert's formula, concentration C is equal to absorbance 280 divided by extinction coefficient, molar extinction coefficient into path length. Path length is given is a width of cuvette which is 1 centimeter. So which is equal to 0 0.921 uh, divided by 30730 into 1 and that would be equal to 29.9 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. So this unit here is molar. So moles per liter. So you got concentration 29.9 micromolar solution, molar protein concentration. So that can be converted into grams and uh, how do you do that? Simply you multiply this number with the molecular weight which is 10,000. So you get 0 0.29 gram per liter. So this is the final concentration of protein in gram per liter.